Greetings everybody, how you doing? I am the Starving Martian and today we're looking at a Donkey Kong 64 mystery barrel. Ooh, isn't that uh, exciting? So this uh, barrel here was uh, put out for Donkey Kong 64. And if you don't believe me, we'll just look at uh, the top of the barrel. And that should remove any doubt. So, uh, yeah, so this was put out at the same time as the classic Nintendo 64 game, which uh, I played. I never got around to beating it. I think I got, um, I gave up somewhere around the, one of the water levels, just couldn't swim where I was supposed to swim and get there on time. But I did quite enjoy it as I was playing it. Sadly, I do not currently own a uh, Nintendo 64, so I can't play the game, but I do have this fun little barrel. This is about uh, five inches tall. And it's more than just a plastic barrel. It has something inside. Uh, who could it be? What could it be? It's a member of the Kong clan. Uh, that much I could tell you. And in order to uh, find out for sure, we got to crack this puppy open. So it um, just pops open from this seam here. Just uh, grab it and pull it out. And yep, here's our friend Diddy Kong. I'm just kind of paring out there. <laughs> this is kind of cool because uh, if you remember the um, classic uh, Donkey Kong Country games, you'd play as uh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and when you lost one of your Kongs, you'd have to find a buddy barrel, and um, the other Kong would be inside of it. So it's a pretty good representation of that. So um, let's get, uh, let's get uh, Diddy Kong out of his barrel. And he's done very nicely here, very well. He is, of course, uh, for the most part, a stuffed animal. A little plush toy here, a little beanie bag. But um, he's got a plastic molded head. Very nicely molded, by the way. Um, there's a little bit of fur detailing going on in there. You can see the inside of his ears. Nice sculpting around the mouth and the eyes. Got his uh, t-shirt with a star on it. His red baseball cap, which does not yet say Nintendo. Uh, I think they might include that later versions of the character. Tell me he's missing his tag, but what are you going to do? Um, and yeah, aside from that, it's just a standard little plush figure. He's about three inches long. And um, he actually looks good. And he, and he also looks good with some of the other figures, um, that are, or beanie bags, rather, that came out at the time. So here's a Donkey Kong that came out um, during the same era. And uh, they made a bunch of these. They made um, Donkey Kong, they made Mario, and a couple of the other side characters. And um, they're not from the same series. He was not from the, any of the barrel things. You can see he's got the full plush head going on. But these two do look quite good together. I think they scale really, really nice. Now, um, let's see if... Let's see if Donkey Kong even would fit in this barrel. Come on. Oh yeah, you could totally make that work. And if you don't push it on all the way, he'll probably pop it right off. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Do it again. No? Oh well. First time's a charm. So, I don't know if they made any more of these. I don't know if uh, any other members of the Kong clan got their own uh, DK-64 uh, mystery barrels or not. In fact, the way I acquired this guy um, was actually at a local uh, ice cream shop, believe it or not, where um, they had a whole bunch of teddy bears up on top of a... Um, uh, a, a display like about a good four or so feet above head level and um, this guy was just sitting there with the rest of the teddy bears and uh, he didn't match him at all because he was he was a monkey and not a bear and um, anyway I just asked one day I said hey is there is there any chance I could buy that uh, donkey or that Diddy Kong up there off of you guys and uh, they said you know what that that's not even ours that belonged to like another employee and I don't even know if he's here anymore and so they took down my information, and after a while, they gave me a call and said, yeah, you want to come get him. They didn't even charge me anything for him. So, yeah, I got this guy for free. 
And I've since looked online. I've checked like eBay or whatnot, trying to find how much he's worth and if there's others in the line. And I can't find any more. I've never seen this guy apart from this physical copy I have here. So I can't tell you guys how much you could expect to pay for one of these because I don't even know if you'll ever find one. But um, I'm quite glad that I did. I don't know if this is like a promotional material or what. But um, but either way, I, I, it's, it's really nice to own. And just thought I'd go ahead and uh, show them off to you guys. Um, but that's about it. Like I said, he's a little plush figure. Not not much you could do with him. But um, but the the sculpting's nice. The barrel, of course, is really cool. And he scales well with uh, Beanie Baby size Nintendo characters. So there you have it. This has been The Starving Martian. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch up with you next time with another review. Until then, as always, keep watching the skies. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching.